Hey everybody, it is Dak here from Theed Boys, and welcome to my 1 to 99 construction guide. The goal of this guide is to give any information that I believe you need to train construction at any level. Construction is a very expensive skill overall to get to 99, but also is very fast to train. Higher level player owned house upgrades are extremely convenient for your overall gameplay, and getting to the mid 80s for those late game upgrades doesn't have to be that pricey. In this guide, we'll start off by talking about how to buy a house, and then how to hire a servant who's going to help you build and train construction, but other methods of how to get more planks without banking too. Then we'll get into how to build some rooms, how construction XP works with different types of planks, and finally we'll jump into the leveling guide. Plus, I'll throw some alt methods of training, followed by a deeper discussion on why high level construction is helpful. You can buy a house from any real estate agent in the game, there are four of them around, they're in Falador, Sears Village, Varrock and East Artie. You can also pay these guys to change the look of your house or the location of your house too. Your first house will always be in Remington and is going to cost you 1k. By the time you reach level 20 construction, you can hire a servant. The servant house is located in the corner of East Artie. These servants can take noted versions of your planks to the bank and bring back unnoted planks for you, which is going to speed up your process heavily. Each higher level servant you use makes it cost more money per item, but they can bring more items back at a time and it takes them less time to get back from the bank. I don't really suggest bothering with the first two servants honestly. You can use the method I'm going to talk about in a second instead and it'll take you less time than using their servants. During the leveling guide I'm going to assume that you're going to hire a cook at 30 construction, the butler at 40 construction, and the demon butler at 50 construction, so I won't be really bringing them up again to remind you. Before you have a servant to help you out, you could get your planks unnoted from File, who hangs out in the store just south of the Remington POH portal. It costs 5 GP per item, which is cheaper than any of the servants, and doesn't take that long to run out there. I would use this method of unnoting planks until 30 construction. Alright, you have a house and you're ready to start using your planks, but first you need to build a room. Enter your house in building mode, this can be done at the portal outside or even from your in-game options. You have to be in building mode to build or remove anything. Once you're in the house, you'll see a bunch of door hotspots. Right click on one of them and you can start building a room. Each room has a separate cost to make, the higher level rooms obviously cost more money. You can rotate the room however you'd like, but it doesn't really matter much for training, and you can move the rooms around later at any time in your house viewer. How they calculate construction XP is very straightforward. Each plank is worth a certain amount of fixed XP, so the goal would be to use the highest tier plank that you can, but also as many planks as possible. Clearly, one mahogany plank is not going to do as well as 10 oak planks, but I'll get deeper into what items we're going to be building in the leveling guide. When you look at the GP to XP between planks, you see that there's a big price difference though, so I'm going to talk about different methods for either spending more money to get the cape faster, or maybe saving a little bit of money for your slower XP rates. Alright, let's get into the leveling guide. From levels 1 to 4, you're going to make crude wooden chairs. As with all construction training, the objective here is to build the chair, remove it, and repeat. Each chair requires two regular planks and then two nails of any kind. Higher tier nails have a less of a chance to bend, but I don't usually get any higher tiers than steel nails since they do work fine. You only need to use nails on things that require regular planks, so once we move on to the oak section, you're not going to need nails anymore. Since you do bend your nails, make sure you buy like 500 to 1000. They're also really cheap, so it doesn't hurt to buy extras. These chairs can be built in the parlor, or in other words, your living room. You can get 58 XP per chair, and you only need 5 chairs to get to level 4. Levels 4 to 9, you can move on to wooden bookcases, which are also built in the parlor. Each bookcase takes 4 planks and 4 nails. You'll get 115 XP per bookcase, and you only need 7 of them to get to level 9 construction. Levels 9 to 22 is your last section of regular planks. You're going to be making wooden larders, which require you to build a kitchen in your house, too. These take 8 planks and 8 nails a piece, each larder is 228 XP gained, and you only need 21 larders to get yourself to 22 construction. From levels 22 to 33 you can make oak dining tables. Right at 22 you can make the regular oak tables, which take 4 oak planks a piece. You get 240 XP per table and need 39 of them to get to 31. Then at 31 construction you can make carved oak tables, which take 6 oak planks a piece instead. At this point you're getting 360 XP per table, and you only need 10 more of them to get through to 33 construction. Each of these tables are built in the dining room on the same spot. Levels 33 to 52 you can make oak larders. Each larder gives 8 oak planks which gives 480 XP per larder. You are going to need 222 of them to get to 52 construction and they can be built in the kitchen. This is the first part of the grind you really get a chance to get into a rhythm with building and taking planks from your server. Keep in mind that when you build you can use your number keys as shortcuts to build. In this case the oak larder is the number 2 and then to remove something you hold down the 1 key to speed through it. 
Even taking an extra one tick between building and removing is going to make a big difference on your XP rates. Poor ping or lag can slow you down a lot, and keeping the best XP rates for a full hour isn't really easy. This is why you see the XP rates have a pretty large gap, so keep this in mind while you're training. You'll likely get to a point while training too that you'll realize construction is like one of the worst skills to train, so thankfully it is really fast in XP rates. At level 52 construction, you can start making mahogany tables. These tables are the best XP you can get in construction, and that's why I've got them all the way till 99, but I'll discuss the alt methods in a minute because these are really expensive. Mahogany tables take 6 mahogany planks per table, giving 840 XP apiece. You're going to need 15,370 mahogany tables to get the 99 construction, which is a ton of money. It costs you up to 200 mil to get the cape. Obviously, not everybody can afford 200 mil just to have unlimited house teleports in their construction capes, so let's talk some cheaper methods. At 66 construction, you can make teak garden benches in your superior garden. These benches require 6 teak planks and give 540 XP apiece. Teak planks are cheaper to use than mahoganies, and you still get some solid XP rates with these. It would take 1,112 of these benches to get to 77 construction. You could potentially take this all the way to 99, but at 77 you unlock oak doors. Oak doors can be made in the dungeon, and they're not only faster XP than teak benches, but they cost less money to get to 99. Oak doors take 10 planks per door and give 600 XP apiece. 74 to 99 construction is going to take 198,970 oak planks. At the current prices, it's about 83 mil in planks. If you use the demon butler, it adds another 9.5, so a little over 92 mil to finish off your cape. The rest of the cape would add up to around 110 mil total if you had used these alt methods, which is not nearly as pricey as mahogany planks the whole way, but is going to add some time to the grind. In my opinion, construction is hands down the worst skill to train, so I prefer the fast method for 99 if I can since it's only like 22 hours of the cape. It's just really expensive. It's ridiculous. Let's talk about the benefits of higher level construction. At 75 construction, you can plant a spirit tree in your superior garden. You could do it as low as 70 with a spicy stew if you really wanted. You can't use a crystal saw to boost for this because you don't use a saw to build the crystal tree. You also need 83 farming to plant the tree, but having a spirit tree is not necessarily the most used teleport system. This is going to be your closest teleport to a spirit tree at any time though now. The fairy ring can also be placed in the superior garden at 85 construction, and similar to the tree, can only be boosted from as low as 80 since you can't use the crystal saw to build it. Fairy rings give a lot of useful teleports in the game, and again, now the house tab is your closest teleport to get to a fairy ring. Starting to get a theme? If you want both the fairy ring and the spirit tree in your garden at the same time, you need either 95 construction or to boost from level 90. The ornate pool requires 90 construction to build and can be made as low as 82 with a spicy stew and a crystal saw. Drinking from your pool just takes a second and will fully heal your hit points, prayer points, special attack, run energy, any of your reduced stats, and it cures poison and venom. The amount of times you're going to use this pool a day is insane and it can be placed just a few steps away from your portal. All you need to get there is a house teleport. There are lower tier pools that are kind of nice, but the ornate pool is life. Also at level 90 construction, you can make an occult altar in your achievement gallery. This can be done with as low as 83 construction with the two boosts. This altar is used to change your spellbook to any other spellbook. You never have to run to the desert, lunar isle, or the dark altar again. Well, at least not to switch your spellbook. All you need, again, is to house teleport. At 91 construction, you can make the ornate jewelry box. This can be boosted from as low as 83 construction. This box holds unlimited teleports for the following jewelry. The Ring of Dueling, Games Necklace, Combat Bracelet, Skills Necklace, Ring of Wealth, and Amulet of Glory. Look at the list of teleports that is now crammed into your house tab. This is inventory space saved for many activities. 92 construction, you can make the crystalline portal nexus. This can hold all of the other portals that you would normally put in your house, which includes a ridiculous amount of spellbook teleports, and you can hang up some necklaces like the Xerix Talisman or the Dig Site Pendant for even more teleports. There are lower level portal nexus, which can be used to hold limited amounts of different teleports, but it's still extremely useful. There's even a lot of other lower level stuff that you don't need to get in the 80s in construction for it to be useful, but your player own home can overall be extremely convenient on just your general gameplay though, so getting construction up is important. I believe that's all the information I wanted to give you about construction. Thank you for watching everybody. If you enjoyed the guide or you got some useful information out of it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. If you still have any questions or tips of your own about construction, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible and I'm sure we would all like to discuss a little more because some of you have to have questions. Thanks again for watching everybody and best of luck in your construction grind.